Yo, I don't remember this at all. What the f fuck is this? This is not new. Okay, I mean, I mean this is completely new. What? Ah! Who am I shooting? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Oregon Trail, the complete edition, final cut, director's cut, blah, 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 whatever it's called now. It's got everything involved in it now, though. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. We are at the mine. Let me get in here really quickly. Now, we have lost, I haven't played this in a couple of days, mind you, but as I recall, we have lost two important members of our party. We have lost Pe President Donald Trump and Ludacris. So, really big losses to the party. I mean, when you think about it, pretty big losses to society, right? I mean, what is society without Donald Trump and Ludacris? Which one's more important? I don't know, man. They're both equally very important members of our society here. So, the only people we have left over now is obviously Falcon, Batman, and Lady Gaga. Quite a troop, I would say. Let's let me talk to a stranger here. You encounter no one. How about that? Nobody's at the mines today. Let me do a scavenge right now. The activity is medium. You guys have been telling me when I should be scavenging, when I should not be scavenging. And apparently, medium is a really ideal one. So, let's go with the rifle as usual. Oh, a bag of money. <laughs> I love it when you just ran into a bag of money in the post-apocalypse. It's kind of like, you know, what is this doing over here, huh? People were in the middle of robbing a bank whenever all everything went down. That is scrap. Not exactly food, which is what I was looking for. This is food. We have a scumbag bandit over here. Oh, I didn't kill him. Ooh, a med kid. Now that's good. <gasps> Boom, bitch! You don't take my scrap. However, I'm... I'm... I'm in trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh we ended. I thought I got hit. <laughs> that was quite possibly one of the best scavengers of all time. I was able to deck that fool in the head before he took my food, and we barely got out of there alive. Well, not alive, but you know, we were able to live, but no damage. We found $50, 15 scrap and one medkit, and 20 ounces of food. I was looking for more food primarily, but hey, $50, nothing to scoff at. Any combat training over here? Nope. Okay, so, any trades? A stranger is willing to trade three of their scrap for two of your fuel. Oh man, our fuel's very low when I think about it. Absolutely not. Nobody else, huh? Hey, um, can we do a little bit of, um, buying for fuel? You have fuel for $31. You got your fucking mind is what you are. 162 food? The difficulty is suicide, though. There's a, ho a group of hostile folk who have hold up nearby building. Oh, that's the shooting one. I think I could do that one. I think, I think I could do this one. That's gonna take me a while, but I should be able to do it. Um, I think we said pistol would be better for this one, right? Got him. Got him good. Uh, Salt Lake City, hey, we're going over to Utah. Decent supplies and GPS, ooh. I think with GPS, probably you don't get lost in the fog or something, maybe? That's what it would make sense to me. Or maybe you never get lost altogether on a trip, which is a pretty decent upgrade if that's the case. You question the edibility of some of your food, you toss it to be safe. No, you can't be tossing food right now, man, we're very low on it. Our fuel is so low as well. How much are we dropping? We're, tro we're dropping 0.25, isn't it? It starts raining heavily, you will have to drive more slowly. Which is not good for our fuel right now. Zombie activity is high. I think we're gonna probably have to buy some fuel whether we want to or not. Lady Gaga gets stabled. Gets stabbed in- Lady Gaga gets stabbed in an argument. Okay, well look at this way. We have Falcon, we have Batman, and we have Lady Gaga in the car alone. One of these people stabbed her. Unless she stabbed herself, it's probably me or, or Batman. I'm pretty sure Batman wouldn't stab anybody, so... I think I stabbed Lady Gaga. You don't notice a speed bump on the road. Everyone hits their head as you fly over it. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guy. Lady Gaga's really hurt over here. The, sky the ki sky's clear us up. Okay. Batman's doing... Well, I was gonna say Batman's doing fine until we got cholera just now. <laughs> Never mind. But Lady Gaga's gonna have to rest for a bit here. Lady Gaga wanders off and it takes you an hour to find them. Come on, Gaga. Yeah, yeah. You're just busting my balls left and right here now. Oh, boy. Let me get a salt lake ready. No more events. No more events, damn it. I'm gonna probably have to rest here for a while to get my HP back. You think you see someone on the road ahead? Salt Lake City. Click anywhere. You guys see any references over here? I feel like this might be one right here. 
There's usually references in all these areas, but there you go. Salt Lake City, let's see what's here for buying. Nothing for buying, oh man, I needed some fuel really badly. Jobs, $48 for a massive herd. Oh no, I don't like that one, mm-mm. That would be pretty bad. Let's go to the auto shop. Batteries, repairs, what, what do you have for the upgrade? You have the GPS, never lose the road, $88. We do have enough money for that though. It sounds like a really good one too. Oh, but there's a bag of food right over here, which is actually pretty darn good. How you doing, buddy? Huh? <laughs> that was... <gasps> oh, I was gonna say that was a bit too close, but we got it. And then I almost... Then I got excited when I saw this big ass... Oh my god, food left and right. Thank you. Oh. Jesus, I, I can't aim today. Can't aim today. I, uh... Need that cart, if you don't mind. Bullets I don't really care too much about. This I do. Okay, here we go. That was a close one. The zombie activity being high was not joking around. What is this? What was that little small one over here? Was it like a smaller food thing? I think it was a smaller food thing. We got 350 food. So now on food, we're once again perfectly fine for three people. That's a lot of food. So if anything, we could probably even go... Oh, the zombie activity is medium. I should scavenge again. If anything, we should be able to sell something here. Oh, they don't even... I was going to say we could buy some... Fuel, but I don't even sell fuel here. GPS, what do you guys think? I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy the GPS. So the air base is coming up, light supplies and faster reload. How far are we? Oh man, we're, we're kind of getting there. I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard to get there right now, but we're kind of there. Embark. It's still a very long way to go. The problem is our fuel. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue. Well, we have the, the ninja muffler, right? So... Automatically sneak through, right? Because we have the ninja muffler. Get away. Yo. Yo, yo, I got the muffler. I got the muffler. Ha 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 ha! Never lets me down. Okay. Now the problem part here is that we have a long way to go for the next area. And our fuel... I'm not sure if our fuel's gonna get us there. Batman gets nervous and asks you to drive slowly. Batman, this is not the time for you to be nervous and for me to drive slowly, okay? We're very low on fuel. I can change the pacing of the, the car, make it go slower, which I think would consume less fuel, but the problem is, like, then we'd be going slow instead. Following a wake of vultures has led you to food. Okay, that's cool. I mean, we already had food. I would prefer a wake of vultures leading me to fuel. That would be amazing right now. Zombie activity is low over here. Batman gets mauled by a wild dog. <laughs> How does that even happen when you're inside the car? Why are you guys stopping by the road so often and all these terrible things happen? You know what I would tell you to do? If after a while all these things happen to us when we get off the car momentarily for a break, I would just stop taking breaks altogether. Lady Gaga is getting paranoid. Yeah, you're telling me I'm paranoid right now. We, we apparently have wild dogs attacking Batman. You feel like someone or something is following you. That's just Lady Gaga's paranoia. It's spreading around to the rest of us here. You hit a pretty nasty bump in the road and two medkits... I just don't want to talk about it. You drive too close to some rubble and accidentally slash your tire. What, is this like a joke? This is basically RNG just bending me over now. It's kind of like, oh, oh, you're getting close to the area where you're supposed to be going, huh, Falcon? Well, how about we just bend you over and pull your pants down? That really hurts, by the way. The tires, I'm not sure how many of those we have left over. A military blockade impedes your progress for an hour. I'm not sure how many tires we have left over. I have to look at that. But losing two medics is terrible because we had three of them. So now we only have one more, which Falcon kind of has to have one pretty soon. So this is actually really terrible for us. Broken down cars block the road. Navigating the debris takes an hour. Look at this shit. It's just one event after another of terrible thing now. Ugh. You suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies. Oh, good. Yeah. The, 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 the... The hits never end. Wh which one is this one? Oh, it's this one here, huh? Okay. Well, luckily. As long as he doesn't overwhelm me, we should be fine. Activity's deadly. Oh, we're gonna get overwhelmed then. Got him in the foot! So, if it's deadly, I gotta make sure they don't ever get close to me, because then we will be overwhelmed. I can't really afford a miss right now. As well. Oh! Fucking first thing I say and the first thing I do. Gotta, gotta concentrate here. Good miss, Falcon. Really good miss. 
Oh, sure. The slowest zombie of all time and I can't even hit him. I don't want to talk about that. We survived at least, okay? It's fine. It's okay. Slowest zombie of all time, I missed him twice. The other ones? Oh, no big deal. Slowest one? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hit you. This right here, by the way? Probably my best, my favorite reference right now so far. That is fucking Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is still, to this day, one of my... Favorite and most nostalgic zombie games of all time. I mean, it's not even zombies, that's basically every single horror trope in that game. So amazing. I played that shit for hours on end with my cousins and my friends. Oh my god, loved that game growing up. Okay, let's see here. Um, we need to buy fuel. Thank god you have fuel for sale. We have to buy it. How much is this? One gas tank for 33? Oh fuck, I mean, I can't really argue with that right now. With no fuel, we don't travel. That costs nine food for a weight. You meet someone who is, will spare 51 of their food for four of your fuel. Get out of your fucking mind. Get out of here. These trades are terrible right now. Oh my god, my wagon's about to break down completely. I gotta repair it myself. Okay. This is it. The moment of truth here. We can't really screw it up now. Great of B again. You're very kind of, um... You're kind of greedy with those A's, are you not, game? Never give those A's away, do you? I gotta go again. Our car is just way too beat up. So we're almost out of scrap, too. We have to scavenge at some point. Oh, wow, that was fast. Oh, that last one! Oh, it was okay. Well, whatever. $75. There's something hitting the back of the graveyard. But it's too spooky for me. The problem with this is because if I fail it... I'm fucked with Falcon. I think you lose, like... Don't you lose, like, half of your health when you get caught? Or is it, like, one quarter? $75. We kind of need money right now. We kind of really need money right now. Oh, good. Of course, you would give me the most screwed up. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Did you see that? <laughs> okay. Hindsight, with the benefit of being able to think properly and on time, I should have shot the guy left left of me, and then that wouldn't have, like, rushed me up to go up and then get got by the guy on the side. I tried shooting him, and then it was obviously in the way. Fuck. That was my worry about that one, because we were so low on health, and we only have one med kit left. I gotta use it at this point. Okay, so that was terrible. I know, I know, I should have shot the gun left of me, but it was kind of, it requires, like, you know, on-the-spot reaction, which, unfortunately, I wasn't ready for that. We- <gasps> Oh, shit, we're, we're there, then! Oh, good god. I wasn't even aware we were that close. Your, your car starts making a loud noise. The muffler has to be replaced. You replace it from supplies. That was the last muffler, I think, too, guys. A military vehicle pulls you over and questions you for an hour. I wasn't aware we were that close, actually. Oh, good god. Okay, so we might make it. We might make it to the safe haven. But I don't think that's where it ends, though. A series of bodies are on display on both sides of the road. So, was using, or at least... Spending all we did for the few important at this point? I don't think it was. Batman has a broken arm. As a matter of fact, having no medkits right now coming in here could be problematic, too. I forget what the ending is, like what you're supposed to do here. Plus, it could be different, because this is the director's cut version, or the complete edition, so it could have changed from what I remember it back in the days. But, to be honest with you, I don't even remember what I did last time in the... Back when I used to play this on my phone, years ago. I forgot what the ending is all about. It's pretty hectic, though. And I think you require, like, all of your friends for the best ending or something, or for a better chance, and we've already lost two, so I don't know, man. You see the grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road? Will you stop to look? No. Because if a zombie pops out and we take damage, I don't have any more medkits anymore, so we really can't do it. Here we go, we're at Safe Haven, allegedly. Hey there, welcome to Safe Haven. I let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge in if you want to get it, or you have to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up and hurry. It looks like there is a horde heading this way. Yeah, this is the, the finale. Okay, gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. You can carry two at a time. Your party will replace you if you fail, if you fall. They will also provide cover fire from the station wagon. So, the more people you have, the more chances you have. And they will also provide cover fire from the car. And I think you have to get out here and, like, carry two at a time. You can carry two at a time. Gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. Okay. We're gonna go with the rifle here. Okay. This is one of those instances where I can be fucking up, though. One would even say, Falcon, would it not be better for you to grab the fuels farther away and just kind of work your way back? Yeah, that probably would be the best idea. Oh, 
Thank God, cover fire. I kind of got freaked out when I saw this guy coming at me, too. Um, that guy's stuck in a fence. Perfect. Oh, no, we got the boo. The boo's gotta go. Let's see. Yeah, the let me grab the further ones first. At least get the dangerous ones out of the way. And just grab ammo as we go along. So we have three back here, meaning there should be three more ahead. Two of them here. Okay. And there should be one all the way somewhere at the end, correct? Yeah, this is it. So we grab that one and that one we work ourselves back this way. Don't care about the ammo right now, I think we're doing okay. But now we have to absolutely clear a pad. My aiming is so garbage right now, too. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I should be thinning them down so when we come back through, there's not too many of them chasing me down. This is actually plausible, though. You know? This is something I think we can do. We gotta go over there, then this one. Trip back and then over here, and this is kind of close to the car. Had we started with the ones further behind first, would have been even better off, but... You know, it is what it is. Now, can you guys cover fire, please? Like... Because I need to make myself back over here. Not a time to miss, not a time to miss. I'm getting overrun now, getting overrun. Cover fire my ass! Cover fire occasionally. <laughs> when we want to do it. Not when you actually really need it. So these are the last two right here. I should probably get Big Boy. Got him in the head. Um, I'll grab you on the way back, I suppose. Come on, where is this? When you think about it, we we kind of like overstocked... We kind of overstocked with ammo for this run. Because look how much we have left over. We had so much ammo the entire run. And not only that... We actually sold quite a bit of ammo at the last spot, just so we could buy some more fuel, not knowing that we were so close to the end. So for any future runs, if I, in case I do one or not, um, I would say we go a little bit lighter on ammo, even though it's been very, very valuable the entire run. Because it's been helping me scavenge and do all those, like, bandit missions and stuff, so it has been very, very useful. But, as we saw towards the end, we could even use a bit more fuel for the future. So, maybe drop a little bit of ammo and just grab a bit of extra fuel just in case. But I think everything else we actually did pretty good on. Maybe even more money to start off with. I didn't think it was gonna be too big of a deal, but yeah, money turned out to be kind of really important afterwards. Alright, so this here should be the end. Don't even mess around with the zombies, Falcon. Just dump it off. Now is this very is this very much the end? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You start the generator and enter safe haven. No, it's not the end. I believe that's the easy part. This here, I think, is the hard part. Shooting and driving instructions. Pull back to aim, release to shoot. Use WASD or arrows to move while driving. Don't let the car get hit. Is this new or is this... Yo, I don't remember this at all. What the f fuck is this? This is not new. Okay, I mean, I mean this is completely new. What? Ah! Who am I shooting? I don't even know what I'm shooting. I'm not even getting a chance to shoot, I don't think. Oh, now we shoot. Oh, god damn. Oh, god. Okay. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, this is not part of the old game that I remember at all. This had to be added in one of the updates. Which is kind of fucking baller. This is the cool- This might be the coolest thing of all time, even though I'm freaking out right now. Okay, please stop eventually. Okay, here we go. Oh, you don't even have to go after the arms. Go after- Just shoot them in the face as fast as possible and you should be fine. Okay. Oh, gotta go down, gotta go down. Hurry up. If I fail this, I'm gonna be really upset, because I wasn't expecting it, so I felt like we took way too much car damage early on. But this isn't really too bad. I mean, we're on normal difficulty, obviously. I could only imagine this, like, in a higher difficulty. But the the faster reload that we have is so amazing for this. Especially with the, with the rifle. 
Guys? We fucking beat it! Yes! <laughs> we lost Trump and Ludacris, but we still beat it. Oh my god. Oh, I've heard it's very difficult F to beat the game with, like, you know, not your entire party, so making it this far with, you know, two people down was actually pretty damn amazing. All right. You've unlocked 50 additional tombstones. Click anywhere to continue. Damn right. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is um, Oregon Trail, the complete edition. I'm not entirely sure if we'll do another run just yet. Uh, I'll look how this one does and whatever, but to be honest with you, the, the the viewer interest really dipped after like maybe two or two videos, so it might not be something that's kind of really worth the time investment for another six videos or whatever, how long it would take me, so... Oh, I could kill people. <laughs> I could kill people. <laughs> that's cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed it at the very least, and I will catch you next time.